I want to talk to you about the concept of terminal QRS distortion. Uh, it's a pretty easy concept and it can help differentiate ST elevation associated with early repolarization from something more ischemic. So let's get into this a little bit. I'm Angry Bill and this is Pre-Hospital Wisdom. We understand that medicine's medicine, but pre-hospital providers have special skills, knowledge, and culture that other providers don't have. Let's raise the bar here a little. Do me a quick favor before we really get rolling. Click the like button and subscribe. It helps more than you realize. In order for a waveform to get a name, this is an R wave, this is an S wave. Here, we'll do another one. Q, R, S, right? So this is before the R, so it's a Q wave. This is after the R, so that's an S wave. In order for a waveform to exist, you have to have two sides, meaning there has to be something to grab, like here, right? You can pinch that. Um, and it also has to extend below the baseline, meaning this isoelectric line here, kind of between those, this Q wave and this S wave both drop below the baseline. So that's a good thing. By the way, the R goes above the baseline, so it counts as well. That's why when you have something shaped like this, this is an R wave, this is another R wave, this is an R prime, is this waveform Right in here is this an S wave? No, because it doesn't cross this isoelectric line that I did a bad job of drawing here. In order for it to be an S wave, it needs to cross all the way across the isoelectric line. So with that in mind, let's talk about the concept of terminal QRS distortion. Let's say you have a nice QRS that I'm drawing badly, I understand, with a T wave, right? As injury begins to occur, this ST segment, more specifically the J point right there, goes upwards. That's our sign of an injury pattern of a myocardial infarction. As it worsens, you can end up with this really sad looking J point, very elevated, way up here. Does that make sense? And so now you have obvious J point elevation that we call ST elevation, ST elevation, and that's our sign of injury. As this worsens, it can even get to a point where it starts to look like this. And you notice where your J point is way up here, but it's gone up so high, so thoroughly, that what used to be an S wave here no longer crosses the isoelectric line. And remember, for it to be a waveform, it needs to cross below this isoelectric line. So this S wave that used to exist here no longer does. That is no longer an S wave in this concept here. That elevation became so high that now the QRS complex is an R wave only, followed by this J point elevation way up to there. This is what we mean by terminal QRS distortion. That terminal QRS distortion is this degree of ST elevation that pulls us up so high that the S wave no longer crosses the baseline and so thus it no longer acts, it no longer is an S wave. This is much more likely to be associated with something ischemic as compared to something like early repolarization or something uh, more benign like that. And so thus, terminal QRS distortion can be a very strong, very profound sign for coronary artery disease and acute coronary syndrome. All right, real quick, let's look at some better examples, better than I could ever draw. This example of terminal QRS distortion I found on ecgcourse.com from Dr. Stanley. It shows a four-part progression from normal to ST elevation to even more severe ST elevation to the final uh, uh, EKG is showing that that S wave has been dragged above the baseline uh, to where it no longer exists as a functional S wave anymore. Um, and this is a great example of terminal QRS distortion. This next one comes from Dr. Smith's blog. If you don't check that out, uh, then you are sincerely uh, kind of wrong. If you look at this 12 lead, uh, you can see the terminal QRS distortion, especially in V3. Um, but 
is that ST elevation that you can kind of see from V2 through V4 or V5 is that uh, reflection of early repolarization. Well, the terminal QRS distortion visible in uh, V3 would make me profoundly suspicious of uh, acute coronary syndrome. Um, and then this final one comes from sciencedirect.com. If you look at the uh, QRS plus line, um, uh, especially kind of in V3, V4, uh, that is definitive QRS distortion, um, probably related to um, uh, something along the lines of, of acute coronary syndrome a lot more than uh, early repolarization or some other cause of uh, those anterior ST elevations. Let me know what you think of this. If you found value from this video, click like and subscribe. One of the most helpful things you can do is share this content with someone you know. Click here uh, for another video or click over here on this side uh, for my channel page and all the videos. Subscribe's another button around here somewhere. Uh, I'm Angry Bill, this is Pre-Hospital Wisdom. And until next time, stay safe.